Jorge Masvidal will be campaigning with Donald Trump Jr. Which is actually kind of surprising in some ways and in some ways not so much. <clears throat> uh, Jorge Masvidal is of Cuban descent. And Cuban Americans have a very unfond uh, relationship, I should say a terrible relationship with socialism. It didn't work out for them. And a lot of them fled to America to escape socialism in Cuba. Um, and for some reason, Democrat and socialism seem to run hand in hand in, in America. They see a lot of similarities between what American Democrats and leftist progressive liberals uh, want. And uh, they see a lot of similarities to that in socialism, but it's surprising because uh, Donald Trump in general hasn't been very welcome into the Latino community or respectful either. That's like uh, John Leguizamo, uh, Leguizamo said, uh, <clears throat> you know, Republicans, no, no, Latino for Republicans is like roaches for raid. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but at the same time, like I said, Masvidal being from Cuba probably has a, a, a different outlook on life and socialism in general. And I know his father fled Cuba. So, you know, he probably heard all the tales of how, you know, the, the horrors of socialism growing up and, and doesn't want that for America. It's just, for me, it's a little strange. It's like, wow, all of the, the, the children in cages and things like that, it, it, I've seen a lot of other uh, people of Hispanic and, you know, Latinos who support, I think Tito Ortiz is another one, who support um, the, the Trump administration. And I just kept, try to wrap my head around this, like, wow, this guy seems to be really apprehensive or unwelcoming to brown people. But, you know, they don't see themselves that way, I guess. I guess they see themselves as Americans of Cuban and Latino in general descent. So they're patriotic and they support uh, capitalism and uh, definitely don't support socialism. And that's what's taking precedent. Uh, so like I said, even though it's kind of strange, the relationship between some, especially fighters, you know, fighters tend to be more, um, I think anyway, conservative in their background anyway, almost like the military guys are more conservative. Fighters are tough guys who, you know, with a lot of bravado and that tends to be more on the conservative side. So when you hear about fighters being conservative, it, it makes sense. You hear about like Chuck Norris is conservative. Yeah, duh. You know, <laughs> and uh, like I said, so that part of it is not surprising. It's just that I thought the amount of disrespect shown towards the, the Hispanic and Latin community and just disregard for human life is taking the, you know, you hear all the time on uh, this border wall. To me, it would seem disrespectful that, you know, America wants to put up borders with Mexicans and Mexico. You know, to me, that's thoroughly disrespectful. And you would think as somebody of Latin descent, that they, they, you know, they would feel that type of way. And also, you know, during the Obama administration, he attempted to open up negotiations and did open up negotiations with, uh, with, with Cuba and made it so that we can have some sort of interaction with Cuban people can travel there and do all kinds of things and, you know, trade and stuff like that. And Trump shut that down right away. I said, no, we're not going to be talking to those people. So you would think somebody of Cuban descent would look at that with apprehension and say, yeah, well, it was going in a good way. But I've spoken to people who are from Cuban backgrounds and know they don't want America speaking to any type of Castro. It could be Castro Jr. Jr. I don't, I don't give a damn. They don't want to have, have nothing to do with them. And they feel like, you know, their families were wrong and their... Uh, you know, land was seized and, and, and they didn't appreciate that at all. And I'm guessing maybe that's where uh, Ho, uh, Jorge is coming from. And like I say, he could just be a conservative because, you know, from that, that ilk, I should say, that fighter uh, conservative background. Mm -hmm.